Good evening, everyone. Autism is uh, a mental disorder that affects the ability of individuals to speak uh, and to socialize and to play. Four out of five people with autism are male. Four out of five have additional learning disabilities that affect them for life. And that will limit their ability to live an independent life. 20 years ago, the prevalence of autism was one in two and a half thousand. It's now upwards of one in a hundred. We still have no clear idea of the cause. What we do know is the terrible havoc that it wreaks on parents and on families of children that are afflicted with autism. Divorce rates of parents with children with autism are 85%. The grief and distress caused by such a diagnosis is enormous. The list of behaviours that you associate with autism varies, but it varies from individual to individual. But you see behaviours that you wouldn't see in the normal population, things like lining up of objects, hand flapping, um, spinning items for hours on end, reciting video, reciting um, things that they may have heard weeks ago. Some children with autism have no play skills at all, and 50% of those who are diagnosed with autism will have no speech and language. Every day you may be faced with a child who headbutts, who bites, who scratches, who kicks, some can't stand loud noise, some will harm themselves. Tantrums are frequent and the tears don't ever seem to stop. You'll frequently see a child with autism alone in the playground with no friends. Doctors will tell you there's no cure and to go away and grieve your child. So what help is available to parents? The very sad answer to this is none. What the state offers in terms of treatment and education is a drop in the ocean compared with what each of these individuals needs. Um, and it's no coincidence that the prognosis for children with autism is very, very poor. No one expects to be put in this position when they're a parent. <coughs> Wayne and Joanne were. And rather than see Cruzy consigned to a life of darkness, they decide to write their own ending to this story. So they began a program of applied behaviour analysis with Cruzy and moved back, as you know, to the UK from Australia. ABA is not an easy option, it's not a cheap option. It involves 30 to 40 hours of intensive work every week and every waking hour we expect Wayne and Joanne to generalise what's done by the therapists. It's not an easy route. Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act but a habit. Day after day, month after month, Cruzy's being pushed to be excellent and not merely okay. With the help of two fantastic therapists who are here tonight, Pip and Sophie, Cruzy is starting to emerge from his world of solitude. It's almost bankrupted his family, but more and more, they're starting to see Cruzy return to them. However, Cruzy's future is still a book half written. That's why we're all here tonight, because we need your help to finish the story. To quote William James, in any project, the important factor is belief. Without belief, there can't be a successful outcome. I believe in Cruzy. His therapists believe in Cruzy. 
Wayne, Joanne, and the rest of his family believe in Cruzy. I hope that you all will too, and that you'll dig deep tonight. Thank you very much.